Welcome to another episode of Basic Lua and Dual Universe. In this video, we're going to add some, some engine toggles to our HUD. We're going to set up our engines through the use of tags and Lua to toggle our engines on and off. And we're going to add those to our HUD along with the lock break one that we already added last time, as you can see at the top left of the screen. Um, those are how I have this ship set up. Now you can set those up for any engines and you can call them whatever you want. This is just the basic one I threw together for this example. So if you look, I have these two set up as Atmos Main 1. I have these two as Atmos Main 2. So if I ever want to fly with just two of those, I can, or I can enable all four. I have one space engine on by default, and the other one under Space Main, I can toggle on or off. I'm sure you can see why this would be beneficial. If you ever want to use just one engine or two, or if you have many of them, you can set up different uh, scenarios. So let's go set that up on this ship over here. Now before we get started, I want to show you something. Um, if we jump in, you're going to notice right off the bat that the ship hovers instantly. Now this happens with boosters and hovers. So I kind of want to fix that because that messes with taking off and landing, especially if you're toggling that on and off. Uh, let's go in, control L. We're going to go to the unit, the start filter. This is the default start filter. Let's go down to line 49 here. And as you can see, this is telling it where to set the target ground altitude. So we're actually going to set that to zero to start. Now, if you notice, when we go into the sea, the ship doesn't just take off to four meters. It starts right at zero. Awesome. Now let's set this up on one of the engine types. So for this ship, let's set up these small engines on a toggle to toggle those on or off. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to advanced, set engine tags. Now, as you can see, there's a default tag list and then additional user tag list. So we are going to call it Atmos main. Now I already went through, so I'm gonna press okay. I already went through and added it to these for the sake of time. Set engine tags, Atmos main. You can see additional user tag list is Atmos main. Uh, so you wanna do that on any of the engines you want this toggle to be. If you toggle different engines, you're gonna want different tags for those. Right now we're just gonna do this one for the sake of this video. So let's go jump into the console, control L system now let's go to the start filter to start we already added lock brakes in here and the next one we're going to add in is atmos main equals false so they're going to start off as false uh, atmos equals not atmos is going to go in our action start so add filter action start and if we come in here and we look for a toggle, we're just gonna add these to option one. Atmos main equals not Atmos main. So that's gonna toggle it for us, just like it did with the lock brakes. It's going to change it from false, because that's what it started out as, as not false, which is true. So now we have to tell it what to do when this happens. If we go into our flush filter, we have our lock brakes, we have our landing gear we've worked on. You can create a different filter. I just like putting all the custom ones into one flush and then the default ones in a second one. Um, so let's call this Atmos main. And let's write our little script here. If not Atmos main, then nav set engine command this is our tag, Atmos main. That's the tag that we created right there. Vec3.0, Vec3.0, and then end. So you might be wondering, okay, where did we get this from? So let me show you. This is where those resources come in. 
that we were looking at before in another video. Uh, we have our default game directory that we saved it to, that we installed the game to, so dual universe, the game folder, data folder, Lua. And there you have this navigator file. Uh, this can be found in a few places. It can also be found in the codex, but I just opened up that navigator file in here. And as you can see, if you scroll down, it's got some information on the set engine command um, and what you can utilize there. So let's hit apply and let's see if this works before we add it to the HUD. So let's jump in. Press insert third person. And I'm turning my engines on, as you can see on the right, but my Atmos engines are not turning on. Awesome, that's exactly what we wanted. And let me turn the engines down. I'm going to press Alt-1, because that's what we added it as. And now I'm going to turn the engines on. Awesome, we're moving. I'm going to turn those off, just because I don't want to go flying around right now. Uh, but yeah, so that definitely worked. Let's get out of the chair and let's add that to our HUD. So control L. Let's go to system and we added the HUD in the update filter. So let's get rid of this core.get altitude. I was just using uh, that to show you in the last episode. And we were going to do local Atmos main HUD equals that ternary again. Atmos main, which is the function we created there, or the variable, and div class equals, you know what, I'm just going to cheat and copy this. Awesome, now we have to add that down here, of course. So this again was our altitude, we're going to get rid of that. Let's just copy this a second time. And actually, we're going to have this on option one, so we want this above option four here, uh, just for the sake of consistency. And let's rename this, so this will be alt one. This is going to be Atmos main. And this is Atmos main HUD. So this is just pulling from up here which is pulling from everything else we set up and those Atmos main tags, which pulls from start here. And of course the flush we created here and the action start, well, sorry, this is the lock break, option one, Atmos main. So let's see if that worked as it should. Let's jump in there. Let me go into third person. We have Atmos main is currently off, and if I try to move, nothing's happening. So I'm going to press Alt-1, and there we go again. I'm just holding the brakes, trying to keep us from moving too much. But as you saw, the engines turned on. Sweet. So let's jump out, and let's add that to one more quickly. Let's add it to the hover engine. So I'm gonna maneuver tool this up. Let's right click on the hover, advanced set engine tags. Let's give it a tag, we'll call it hover main. Okay, let's maneuver tool this back down. Control L on the chair, if I can stop jumping past it. System. So let's add this. Now I'm going to add this to the booster because there's no way we're putting... Let's see, where is it? Booster. I'm going to add it here because we're not going to be toggling boosters on this ship. So I am going to get rid of this. Hover main equals not hover main. So that's actually the toggle we created. So that's going to toggle from system start, which we didn't add yet. So let's jump up to system start and let's add hover 
main equals false so it's going to start out as toggled off and from there we have to add to our flush and we're going to just copy this one again and we're going to create one for hover main let's just swap this out hover main we're going to grab that and add it to the tag over here this is the tag that this is reading from and let's press apply and let's give that a shot well actually let's add that to the HUD super quick as well update go down to the divs here we're going to have this as alt oh no this is going to be the boosters we said so B we'll call this hovers hover main HUD because we're going to continue with the same consistent naming here and now we got to add that up here so let's copy this one add it hovers all right uh, what did I call it hover or hovers let me check hover main hover main HUD hover main and I spelt that wrong hover main and that should be good let's scroll down yep that's the same call it hovers all right let's test this out apply jump in the seat here and we have our hovers now press B turn those on press insert they are working I'm going to turn them off press B they're off now and I am pressing space you can see over on the right where it says vertical axis shows an upward arrow it means I'm holding space but nothing's happening if I let go it zeroes out hold space nothing's happening so I'm going to turn those hovers on B and there I go and you don't have to use the boosters for that the booster key I just wanted to because it's not being used you can use any of the option keys or anything you want as you see it's highly customizable that's just how I have this set up so cool uh, that's all I had for this video I hope it helps you guys out and fly safe